Welcome to live coverage of Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. David Brazil alongside Evan Smith as we get set for, believe it or not, the home opener for the Lady Tigers as they host Springfield Central. And Evan, this has got to be a record for the latest home opener in a season. Republic didn't have any home games in December. They lost a couple of their one-on-one -on -one, you know, uh, series and had a couple teams drop off the schedule. Republic's always got a hard time scheduling because uh, really because the girls' program is always so good. Uh, so they picked up teams like El Dorado Springs. Uh, they had Miller, but that's one of the teams that dropped because they had, had dropped off in quality. So they, they put teams like that on when they can, high quality, but maybe smaller schools, and it just didn't work out. So this is the first time they've had an opportunity to play at home, and I know the home crowd will enjoy seeing what they've got to offer. Yeah, I mean, they've played a lot of tournaments so far instead yeah. of those one-on-one -on -one games. They joined the Willard Classic this year. Um, I'm not sure how often they've played that, played in that in the past, but this is the first year in recent memory yeah, that I, I don't remember, remember them. them playing in it. Yeah, so, and they were able to get through that and win that, but in the tournaments that they play in, they, they played in the Stephanie Phillips Classic as well, but they've been able to pick up the state-ranked opponents that they're kind of looking for in those one-on-one -on -one yep. matchups, but... It's, it's these teams out of the Kansas City area or the St. Louis area that they're having to play in these tournaments. And it's just unreasonable to just reach out to those schools and say, want to play a one-on-one -on -one matchup where you drive four hours my way or I drive four hours your way. So the tournaments have been good for the Lady Tigers. I mean, they've won all three of them, but yeah, it's been kind of a struggle to find a uh, high quality schedule in this area with those bigger class rank schools. Yeah, and in fact, yeah. state rank schools. And I can remember there have been seasons when uh, we did go up and cover games in the Kansas City area. Uh, it's probably been five or six years ago, but they, they had like a Friday, Saturday swing, played a Friday night game up there, and then Saturday, and then the next year, the teams came down here and played. And I think those teams came down and played Kickapoo and yeah. kind of swapped uh, the Friday, Saturday uh, time slots. So that is probably something that's been considered, but having the tournaments close to home makes it less travel. You let those teams travel down here and you don't have to go back up there right. the next year. Well, Republic's 11 and one, and they have played, I got to imagine that one of the toughest schedules in class six, you don't know what Teams like Incarnate Word with their travel have played. But um, just as far as public schools playing a regular schedule, Republic has really had some high quality opponents and uh, they have not had a letdown. I mean, it's it's been good and really they could be 12-0. Yeah. The Helias game kind of got away from them late. But other than that, they've been perfect all year in the pink and white tournament was just an example of that. We're going to talk a little bit more about their season and what to expect from tonight after this timeout on the gold on the uh, Absolute Roofing Retmo Basketball pregame show after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. There was a time when these kids didn't have access to health care at school. If they needed a doctor, someone had to take them. Not anymore. In more than 15 counties throughout Missouri, Cox Health now offers virtual visits in school. So parents won't have to change plans or leave work to get their kids quality care. And kids, well, they can get back to school and learning and thriving. Virtual visits in schools from Cox Health. It's the right thing. Not only can Hines Street Pharmacy deliver prescriptions right to your door and often save you money compared to what you're paying at big box pharmacies, their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, and now they're offering curbside flu shots. Hines Street Pharmacy, experience the hometown difference. 
At Pinnegar, customer satisfaction is our top priority. That's the Pinnegar Advantage. Pinnegar Family Style Service, serving Republic since 1979. Our knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks will make your car shopping experience easy. Whether you're looking to buy or sell your vehicle or needing service from our certified technicians, let our family take care of yours and find new roads at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. Or view the complete inventory at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Pick Pinnegar every time. Nobody has time for computer trouble, but when it happens, you want the work done quickly and by someone you can trust. Republic Technologies will fix your computer or laptop fast, and they'll fix it right. Whether you need repairs or a quality replacement for a computer that's seen better days, call Christopher Bell at Republic Technologies, 732-4300. That's Republic Technologies, 732-4300. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. No matter where this season takes you, the Bank of Missouri is cheering you on. We know a better life begins with a secure financial future. As a community bank, We work with you to understand your priorities and the changes that impact your finances. So wherever life takes you, we're here to be your trusted partner. Get started at bankofmissouri.com. Live well, play well, bank well. Welcome back to the Absolute Roofing Retmo pregame show. Lady Tigers getting set to face Central Republic 11 and 1, Central 0 and 7. So it's been a tough season for the Lady Bulldogs. And talk about the start that Republic's had, and it's been obviously a team effort. But when you talk about the Lady Tigers, the standout is Cayman Beckemeyer, and she's hit another sort of a mini milestone as she is sitting, if my math's right, exactly on 1,900 career points. So she needs 100 points to hit 2,000 for her career. And uh, there's not a lot of players playing class five, six basketball that get to 2,000 points. Uh, Looking at the, the all time scoring list on the state website, Everybody in the top 15, which I think the top 15 goes down to about 2,100 and something. Uh, Everybody on that list is small school. Uh, I think Herman was the biggest school that I recognized on the list. So to do what she's done playing the schedule that Republic has played has been, uh, she's had quite a career. (laughs) Yeah, um, I mean, if you just look at social media, uh, after her pink and white performance, especially in the championship when she dropped 28 against the second best team in the mm-hmm. state of Missouri, in which Republic ended up winning that game by 11, but and then guarding and being guarded by the number 53 player in the nation and her teammate, AAU teammate, Grace Slaughter. But just looking at social media, everyone's talking just about how great of a player she is. There's a lot of excitement. Um, surrounding her on going to Missouri State yeah, next staying year, home. Yeah. staying home. I know that that was a big deal for not just Republic fans and local fans, but, but Missouri State fans as well. Um, they're super excited to see her um, in the future be a Lady Bear. And, you know, and of course there's talks about her possibly being the best Lady Tiger to ever come through the program. And, and arguably, but she's had quite a career, and you know, she's real close to that 2,000-point mark. But it's been exciting to watch over the last four years, and it's going to be a little bit sad to see come to an end at the end of the season. Well, I mean, if you're going to have a, if you're going to go out, go out with a bang, and that's what they're doing, 11 and one. And this is, I knew this team would be good, but. When I looked at the schedule, I would not have guessed 11 and 1. I asked the girls after the Pink and White Championship if they would have 
thought they could go 11 and one uh, in their first 12 games. And Hope Shop said, yeah, they, she thought that they could. And I, I believe that they thought that they could. Uh, I didn't, I don't think I fully uh, recognized how good they were going to be until I saw them out there for a few games. And uh, boy, they, they're good. <laughs> and they just, uh, seems like they keep getting better. And, and this will be one where they just want to keep the keep the mood up and keep the energy up uh, because this is a, a team in Central that has struggled. So that's what you want to keep your eye on is just staying sharp in a game like this. Just about set for the National Anthem. The freshman team only played two quarters. And so they are uh, they finished early and they won, the JV team won and now we will have the national anthem Thank you. We're just about ready for the starting lineups to be introduced. And we'll let Ken Kinnearum do the honors for you. Some numbers for you as the starting lineups take the floor. According to those uh, starting lineups, I don't know if you noticed, but six players will be starting <laughs> for Central. Six players got introduced, and we couldn't tell. Somebody had a warm-up on, so we're not sure which of those, uh, which five of those will be in the starting lineup. But for Republic, it's the same as the last few games. 
Masura Nambara, Lauren Chastain, Molly Blades, Elena Norman, and Cayman Beckemeyer. Central, I had them at 0 and 7. They must have had a game that was not on the on the High School Activities Association website. So they are 0 and 8. And I see Annalise Freeman, number 22 out there. Number 15, Kalise Brooks. And Elena Norman controls the tip back to Lauren Chastain. McAdria Harper is out there as well for Central. Cayman Beckmeyer goes to her right, puts up a little floater. It's off the rim, and Harper grabs the rebound. Gets it to Talia Dyson, and Dyson brings it into the front court, guarded by Molly Blades. Man-to-man -man defense for the Lady Tigers to start things off. Sandriana Sandrews bounces it to Dyson, and then Dyson cut off by Blades. Nice pass on the cut, but a travel after the pass was received by, that was Annalise Freeman. So Republic gets it back, 7.23 left to go in the, game, in the first quarter. And Blades to Beckemeyer for a long three, nothing but net for Cayman Beckemeyer. For stat keeping purposes, I always like it when somebody for Republic has a nice even number because then, at least for the next game, it's easy to keep track of things. So, Cayman Beckemeyer now has 1,903 yeah. points. And a takeaway by Beckemeyer. She stole it away on the entry pass, takes it all the way up into the lane, a little 12 footer rolled around and wouldn't go, and Central grabs the board, but Elena Norman reaches in and ties it up. Alternating possession goes back to Republic. Or rather, back to Central. Pressure in the backcourt, but they get it into Dyson. And Dyson double teamed back there, almost stolen away. Now, how would you like to be double teamed by Nambara and Blades? <laughs> yeah. That's, that was one of my hey, yep. features, a part of my by the numbers this week. 44 combined steals between the both of them through 12 games. So yeah, between the both of them, that's about three or four steals a game. So pretty good, pretty nice season defensively so far for those two. Yeah, for sure. And Blades right around the defender and then dumped it across the lane to Norma who put it up and in. That was a good move by Molly Blades. Central beats the pressure, and they're into the front court. Kalise Brooks has it, guarded by Lauren Chastain. Goes to her right, picks up the dribble, and throws it to Dyson. Talia Dyson working on blades from the wing, missed the shot, grazed the iron. Beckemeyer with a rebound. Beckemeyer is not an awful long way away from the career rebound record either. She'll have to do a little work to get there, but I think she can. And there's a layup at the other end, coast to coast. And that was Talia Dyson who took it all the way in. And that makes it 5-2 Republic. Down low, Norman. Oh, nice shovel pass to Blades, cutting up the baseline. First points for Blades, and it's 7-2. Blades and Norman able to just find each other in the last, last two scoring possessions for the Lady Tigers. Yeah, 444 left in the first quarter. And more trouble and another steal this time by Beckemeyer. Took it away, lays it up at the other end. Easy bucket for Beckemeyer. She has five and it's 9-2. And a timeout called by Central with 421 left to go in the first quarter. 9-2 Republic. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. For more than 30 years, Yokum Automotive has been the hometown auto repair shop you can trust. And with their new digital vehicle inspections, their mechanics will show you exactly what's wrong with your car and let you sign off before the repairs are made. 
Ask about their shuttle service and loaner vehicles when scheduling your appointment online at yokomautomotive.com. Elliott Robinson & Company LLP Certified Public Accountants is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And again this year, they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we take a look at the stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. ERCPA, named to Accounting Today's 2020 Best Accounting Firms to Work For. You can find them in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet or online at ERCPA.com. Alex Price, Molly Mason checked in at the break and uh, almost another steal by Republic, but Central picked it back up and they take it into the front court. Midway through the first quarter and Dyson lost it, picked it back up. Blades harassing her. She throws it to Brooks. Kalise Brooks guarded by Beckemeyer. Left-hand dribble, bounces it across the circle and then a driving layup is no good. Another rebound for Beckemeyer. Pulls up, lost the handle, throws it to Nambara. And now a price from the wing off the back of the rim. Tipped out, and Blades will run it down. And the Lady Tigers reset with three and a half left in the first quarter. Beckemeyer passed up a three, dribbled to the free throw line, bounced it down between defenders trying to hit Mason. And it got knocked around in there, and Central comes away with it. Mikhydria Harper, the 5'5 senior, gives it up. And Talia Dyson. Across the timeline, almost stolen away. I think Blade's got a fingertip on it. And now Price with a steal. She took it right away and brings it back the other way with three minutes left in the first. Beckemeyer will take an unguarded three, and it rattled around and fell out. Did everything but went through. And a rebound to Central. Five points for Beckemeyer, two for Norman, two for Molly Blades. And Beckemeyer almost had another steal, knocked it away from Harper. Chastain checks back in for Molly Blades. Blades with a good start. That assist, two points, and a good defensive start as well. And Central threw it in, but Price knocked it away again. Lola Lilly checks into the game for Central. 5-4 senior guard. And the inbound pass goes to Brooks. Brooks guarded by Price. And she had it for five seconds. So that's a turnover with two and a half left in the first quarter. I don't think Central has even... Uh, I don't think they've taken more than three or four shots. Yeah, I, I can't think of many. Beckemeyer on a cut. A nice find by Laura Chastain and a chance for a three-point play for Beckemeyer. Throw good. And the held ball and the alternating possession goes back to the Lady Tigers. Defense by Missouri Nambara there in the backcourt, just able to. The Lady Tigers were able to get the ball handler to stop her feet, and then Missouri just came in and. Basically grabbed it, but wasn't able to get it completely. Blocking foul against Central there. They're going to say that one was on the floor. Talia Dyson committed the foul. Second foul on Central. First foul on Dyson. Nambara to throw it in. Left of the basket on the baseline. Throws it into Price, who takes a three. That one's short. And Molly Mason there to grab the rebound and put it back in. Good play by Mason. And it's 14 to two and a steal and a layup. Beckemeyer just stepped right in front. And she's got 10 points already and it's 16 to 
Republic on top. Another timeout by Central. We'll take one as well. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Any day's a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Gold Medal Gyms is where Republic athletes build a foundation for future success. Whether it's gymnastics, cheerleading, or tumbling, young athletes learn skills that prepare them to take on virtually any sport they choose. Sign up for your free trial at their gorgeous facility at Highway 60 and Highway M. Gold Medal Gyms, raising the bar for Republic athletics. A 14-point lead already for Republic and a double team, and Central goes into the backcourt. Another turnover for the Lady Bulldogs. And Republic gets it back. Be interesting to see how much playing time Chris Flood even gives the starters tonight. Yeah, I was thinking just in relatively, relativity to uh, Kamen Beckermeyer's road to 2000. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, if, if she follows her average, which is about 24, just a little bit under, I think. It'll take her about four or five games to get there, but that shot blocked by Lauren Chastain. Um, but if Beckemeyer is able to keep on pace with her point average, then she should be able to get there in four or five games. But yeah. she may not be able to be out there long enough tonight to uh, to hit that average. That's true. She's She's got 10. Then again, I mean, if she plays in the first half, she may get, may get her average in the first half at this rate. She's got 10. Oh, nice look down low to Mason. Mason is so good at that little turnaround jumper. She's got such a soft touch. And it's 20 to 2. Blades harassing Dyson coming up court. And now knocked away by Beckemeyer. Just about knocked it into the trash can over there. Don't think that would be the first time that happened. No. I can recall probably a couple times when I was in high school in the student <laughs> section watching the ball get fall in that trash can. I mean, I guess they do need one there, but it's easy to get the ball in there too. Mason just took it right away, and she throws it to Beckemeyer, but she walked first. That would have been two more for Kamen, but... Mason traveled. And with 12.6 seconds left, Central gets it back. Down to four seconds left. Inside the circle. And a steal. They got it back, and the shot is too late. And it's 20 to 2. At the end of one. We'll take a break and be back with the second quarter after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm Agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From glasses, prescriptions, and contact lens fittings to emergency eye care, they help your family see, feel, and look better than they ever have before. Check them out online at visionhealthicenter.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. or at 1045 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 530 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. Welcome back from the break. Republic outscoring Central 20 to 2 in that quarter, which means another $20 to price tag and locker 518. $20 for every quarter that the Republic Tigers and Republic Lady Tigers lead after a quarter. So like I just said, 20 more dollars for that great cause by Destiny Church. 
And Central is going to start out with the ball. They're going to lose it right away. Try to get a pass over to Lola Lilly. Scoring in the first quarter for the Republic Tigers. Kamen Beckermeyer laid, led the way with 10. Molly Mason had four. Then Elena Norman, Molly Blades, and Masora Nambara all with two. Masora brings it into the front court for the Lady Tigers. A zone defense for the Central Lady Bulldogs. Gets it over to Chastain in the corner who finds Molly Blades down low, but she gets fouled as she puts up a shot, so she's going to get a go to the line. Looking to add on to her total. Foul is going to be on Lola Lilly. That's her second of the night. Third of Central Lady Bulldogs. Molly's first free throw, no good. The five Lady Tigers out there now for Four Republic are number two, Lauren Chastain, Elena Norman, Molly Blades at the line, Masor Nambara, and Alex Price. Beckermeyer on the bench now, as well as Molly Mason. Second free throw good for Blades. Now up top, Blades guarding number two, Talia Dyson, who gets it down to number 21, or 22, Annalise Freeman. She tries to put up a shot and is fouled. Foul is going to be on Lauren Chastain. It's Republic's first team foul. Lauren Chastain's first foul. First free throw, no good. For Mikhydria Harper. Second free throw, no good as well. Price comes away with the rebound. And Numbar is going to bring it to the front court, get it over to Blades. Price is going to take a long two pointer, no good. That's short. But Chastain's going to come away with the rebound. She's going to try and turn around, put it back up. That shot misses everything, but Norman's going to grab the offensive rebound, and she gets fouled as she tries to put up a shot. I don't know, Norman's going to get to go to the line. Nyla Siller gets called for her first foul of the night. Number 32, Aaliyah Pittman, the 6'1 senior, getting ready to check in for the Lady Bulldogs. Or rather, that's number 30, Sandriana Sanders. First free throw, no good for Norman. Public with only one point in the first minute of the first quarter. And second free throw is good for Norman. So she has three on the night. Number three, Talia Dyson going to bring it to the front court, guarded by Blades. Lady Tigers in a man-to-man -man defense. She gets it over to Harper, who's going to drive baseline and then kick it to number 30, Sandriana Sanders, who puts it up and in. She has her first points in the night, but Alex Price is going to go all the way down and lay it in after a nice... Pass into the front court by a Lady Tiger teammate. Price is on the board for the first time tonight. She is two. Number three now. Dyson going to put up a shot. No good. Nabara comes away with the rebound, but then loses it right away. And the shot, no good. So Nabara is going to get it right back. She's going to drive all the way and then kick it to the other side of the lane to Elena Norman. Up and off the backboard. Lays it in. Republic, 26, Central 4. Just under six minutes here to go in the second quarter. Norman has five. Looks like Beckermeyer is getting ready to check back in. 15 now, Kelsey Brooks trapped, but Price is going to take it and try and go the other way and lay it in. No good. Brooks able to come away with the rebound for the Lady Bulldogs. Now there's Harper. She tries to put up a shot. It's blocked. And Chastain's going to go to the other end and lay it in. Chastain has her first points of the night. Look back at that block here in just a second of the Lady Tigers. Here's Dyson guarded by Blades. Now over to Harper. 
They're just going to take a quick sub timeout to allow the subs to check in in this game. Beckermeyer to check back in. And Annalise Freeman, I believe, just checked back in the game for the Lady Bulldogs. Dyson going to put up a shot now. No good. Norman comes away with the rebound. Chastain's going to bring it to the front court. She's going to get it down to Molly Blades. Molly Blades going to pull it back out, get it to Chastain, who's wide open at the top of the key. She hits the three. Lauren Chastain with five in the quarter. Number three, Dyson. Timeout. Central Lady Bulldogs. We're going to go ahead and take one as well. We'll be right back after this on Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Taylor Insurance is proud to sponsor Republic Tiger Sports. Since 1988, Tony Taylor and the people at Taylor Insurance have served Republic by protecting their clients just like they protect their own family members. And because it's an independent insurance agency, Taylor Insurance can offer you more options based on your specific needs. Call Taylor Insurance at 732-2345. That's 732-2345. And thanks to Taylor Insurance for sponsoring Republic Tiger Sports. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In the Republic area, that's Far Better Plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Welcome back from the break. Central coming out of the huddle to inbound it. Central down to two timeouts left. Republic still has all five. 14 fouls on Central. Only one for the Lady Tigers. Gracie Woods now in the game for the Lady Tigers. Lauren Chastain now guarding number 13. Harper who puts up a shot. She's fouled. So Lauren Chastain is going to pick up her second foul as well as the second team foul. Harper is going to go to the line for the second time tonight. Harper missed her first two free throw attempts. That free throw no good. In comes number 30, Molly Mason. Now Elena Norman for the Lady Tigers. Second free throw. Good for Harper. She gets her first points of the night. 31 to 5 now. Republic on top. Nambara over to Beckemeyer. Beckemeyer directing traffic with her left hand while she holds the ball in her right. Now back to Beckemeyer. Tries to get it down to Woods, who is cutting up towards the perimeter. And number three, Talia Dyson, going to bring it all the way up and put it in after her steal. Now over to Woods. Woods to. Nambara, back to Woods. Chastain has it now in the corner, back to Woods. Now to Beckemeyer, the top of the key. Molly Mason now down low, tries to find Beckemeyer. That's another turnover for the Lady Tigers. Back to back possessions where they turned it over. So now Harper has it, guarded by Beckemeyer. Beckemeyer is going to steal it away. Probably gets it right back. She gets it to Woods over to Chastain now. Chastain guarded by number 22, Annalise Freeman. And now to Woods, back to Beckemeyer. Beckemeyer is going to take a three now. That misses. Shot no good. Dyson with the rebound. And she's going to bring it into the front court for the Bulldogs. Now Harper guarded by Beckemeyer. Beckemeyer guarding her closely, blocks a shot. She's going to take it all the way to the other end by herself, put it up and in, no good, but she's going to get fouled as she tries to go over there. So we'll take a look back at that. Just after the 
steal there. She goes and tries to put it up and in. She's guard or uh, fouled by number 30, Sandriana Sanders. Her first Central's fifth team foul. Becca Meyer's first free throw, no good. Checking in for the Lady Tigers. Number 15, Alex Price. Number 12, Molly Blades. And checking in for the Lady Bulldogs, number 31, Nyla Siller. In for number 13, Kydria Harper. Becca Meyer makes her second free throw. She's up to 11 on the night. Becca Meyer in the pink and white scored 93 total points through four games. I believe she had 14 against Aurora, 25 against Lebanon, 26 against Kickapoo, and 28 against Grain Valley in the championship. Beckemeyer able to just continue to put up more and more points as she went along in the pink and white. Got better as she played, and a nice play there by Kamen Beckemeyer. She took it, drove it in, got fouled, and was able to make the shot as well. So Beckemeyer with an opportunity for a three-point play here. Beckemeyer. Free throw is good. So she's up to 14 now. Public on top, 35 to seven. Public led 20 to two after the first quarter. So outscoring Central 15 to five here in the second. Molly Mason now guarding number 13, Talia Dyson, Republic. Still on top. Alex Price now guarding number 31, Nyla Siller down there, and a jump ball, held ball, goes to Republic. Alex Price playing good defense down there on Siller, the 5'7 senior, Alex Price, a 5'5 junior. Only two seniors on this Lady Tigers team, came in Beckermeyer and Hope Shots, but what nice careers that they'd have. They have. Beckermeyer is going to take a three now, no good, misses. Just a little long, and she's tracks down a rebound. Price actually had the rebound, gave it off to Beckemeyer. Shot no good, but she gets fouled. So, Kelsey Brooks commits her first foul. Beckemeyer makes first free throw. And the second free throw, good for Beckemeyer. Turn over there for Central. Beckemeyer is going to bring it to the front court. So now over to Price. Woods, back to Beckemeyer. Blades now, over to Woods. Beckemeyer is gonna take a three and she makes that. Came in, Beckemeyer hits the three. She's up to 19 on the night it looks like. Nine in the quarter for Beckemeyer. Foul down low there by Molly Blades, I believe, is who they're going to call that on. Blades' is first foul of the night. First free throw good. And the second free throw good. So, Kalise Brooks, I've been mispronouncing her name, but Kalise Brooks makes both of her free throws. Republic, or Central up to nine now. Republic on top, 40 to nine. Under 30 seconds to go now here. I believe we just had connection issues. But we should be back now. Oh, 
steal now for the Central Lady Bulldogs by number 12, I believe that was, but time's gonna run out. And so Republic on top going into the half, 40 to nine. And we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break and we'll be right back after this here on Republic Tiger Sports. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Central Gas Propane is locally owned and operated and offers exceptional customer service when you need it most. They go the extra mile to meet their customers' needs with a level of service and communication that no other company can beat. Call today to switch and save Central Gas Propane at 417-725-3833 or online at centralgasmo.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. A winning team has strong players at every position. The Lori and Elizabeth Real Estate team has specialists in residential sales, land sales, lake sales, and commercial sales. Lori and Elizabeth are your connection to lenders, to marketers, and to contractors. From Springfield to Joplin to the lake and everywhere in between, they're your real estate teammates. Find them at lauriandelizabeth.reesnichols.com. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. There was a time when these kids didn't have access to health care at school. If they needed a doctor, someone had to take them. Not anymore. In more than 15 counties throughout Missouri, Cox Health now offers virtual visits in school, so parents won't have to change plans or leave work to get their kids quality care. And kids, well, they can get back to school and learning and thriving. Virtual visits in schools from Cox Health. It's the right thing.
So welcome back to the Gold Medal Gym's Halftime Show. Lady Tigers on top 40 to nine. They scored 20 points in each of the first two quarters, allowed only two in the first quarter, seven in the second, and so they outscored Central in both quarters, and that means $40 in donations to the price tag and Locker 518 by Destiny Church. These are free clothing stores in the Republic School District. Let's take a look at individual scoring in the first half. For Central, Talia Dyson had four points, two each for Kalise Brooks and Sandriata Sanders, and one for Mikhydria Harper. Republic, led by Cayman Beckemeyer, who <laughs> talked about her, uh, whether she was going to be able to get to her average. And she hasn't got to her average yet, but she's got 19 in the first half, averaging about 23. And so she's at 1,919 career points. Five points for Lauren Chastain, five for Elena Norman, four for Molly Mason, two for Masora Nambara, two for Molly Blades, two for Alex Price, and the Lady Tigers lead it 40 to nine here at halftime. Pep Band performing at halftime over there. This is their first appearance this season, and I'm sure we'll be hearing more of them as conference play picks up. Reminder that we'll have coverage tomorrow night of the Springfield Catholic and Republic game, that game at Catholic. And we'll start probably around 7.30 or so. It's starting at a half hour later than it was originally going to start. Freshman will start at 5 rather than 4.30. And then JV and Varsity will follow, and we'll have live coverage of the Varsity game starting oh, around 7.30. 40 to 9, Republic on top. We're going to take a break and be back with more after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Not only can Hines Street Pharmacy deliver prescriptions right to your door and often save you money compared to what you're paying at big box pharmacies, their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, and now they're offering curbside flu shots. Hines Street Pharmacy, experience the hometown difference. At Pinnaker, customer satisfaction is our top priority. That's the Pinnaker Advantage. Pinnaker Family Style Service, serving Republic since 1979. Our knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks will make your car shopping experience easy. Whether you're looking to buy or sell your vehicle or needing service from our certified technicians, let our family take care of yours and find new roads at Pinnaker Chevrolet in Republic. Or view the complete inventory at PinnakerChevrolet.com. Pick Pinnaker every time. Nobody has time for computer trouble, but when it happens, you want the work done quickly and by someone you can trust. Republic Technologies will fix your computer or laptop fast, and they'll fix it right. Whether you need repairs or a quality replacement for a computer that's seen better days, call Christopher Bell at Republic Technologies, 732-4300. That's Republic Technologies, 732-4300. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. No matter where this season takes you, the Bank of Missouri is cheering you on. We know a better life begins with a secure financial future. As a community bank, we work with you to understand your priorities and the changes that impact your finances. So wherever life takes you, we're here to be your trusted partner. Get started at bankofmissouri.com. Live well, play well, bank well. For more than 30 years, Yokum Automotive's been the hometown auto repair shop you can trust. And with their new digital vehicle inspections, their mechanics will show you exactly what's wrong with your car and let you sign off before the repairs are made. 
Ask about their shuttle service and loaner vehicles when scheduling your appointment online at yokomautomotive.com. Welcome back to Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. It's 40 to 9, and the starters back out there for at least a little bit for Chris Flood and the Lady Tigers. It was 20 to 2 at the end of the first quarter, and Republic outscored Central 20 to 7 in the second quarter. To take that 40 to 9 lead at half, Republic trying to improve to 12 and 1. Central still winless this season. And Central gets the ball first to start the second half. Thanks to Evan Smith for handling the play-by-play -play duties. And a takeaway by Cayman Beckemeyer. They threw it right to her in the lane. She hesitates, scoops, misses the shot, but gets fouled on the way up. And to Brad Blades, who handled the camera duties while Evan slid over and did play-by-play -play during that second quarter. So I could go down to the sideline and get some pictures. And... Cayman Beckemeyer at the free throw line. Her first free throw is good. 20 points for Cayman Beckemeyer. And that one no good. Dan Chastain tipped it out of bounds. Goes back to Central. We were talking during a break that Republic really needs one of these games. Nambara with the steal. They haven't had a game where they could just go out and play basketball and have fun and not be in the fight of their lives. It's been a tough, tough schedule. Nambara with the layup gives her four, four points. So this is uh, one where they can go out and just kind of have fun. And there's a turnover by Central. Yeah, even that opening round game in pink and white with Aurora. Took them a while to get going, so yeah, they had to right. they had to leave their starters out. Normally, the opening round, you know, it's kind of a if you're a seeded team, it, or at least a highly seeded team, those games are just kind of can be those games where you just go and have fun and work on what you need to work on. But Lady Tigers were slow to start in that first half of that game, so they had to leave their starters out there probably a little bit longer than Flood had anticipated. Yeah, I think they were out there for three quarters. Chastain missed the three there and a rebound to. Makadria Harper, and Central gets it back. Good defense by Norman. That's got to be getting close to a five-second call. There it is. You can see the official counting it off down at the bottom of the screen, and he was going pretty slow. I yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that was well over five seconds. And finally, he just, as slow as he was moving the arm, he had to blow the whistle. And a nice pass from Molly Blades down to Elena Norman. Seven points now for Norman. It's 45 to 9. And a turnover again. Nambara in the front court. Floats it up over the front of the rim and in. She has five. Or rather six. And it's 47 to nine. So Republic has scored the first seven of this second half. And the fourth quarter will most likely be continuously running clock, so it'll take exactly eight minutes other than maybe timeouts, and there's that travel. Good defense by Beckemeyer down low. I would say Chris Flood will probably leave these starters out until right around the four-minute mark, and then I would not be surprised if they are all done. So they've got a minute and a half to get some points if they want them. Beckemeyer's shot fake goes right around the defender and hits the 10-jumper, 10-footer. That puts her at... 22 yep. in the game. Yep, so she is going to get not, not quite at her average. One more bucket would put her at her average. At her average, much. yeah. Oh, that's a nice shot. Lady Bulldog basket hit by Kennelly Freeman. 
that it's was a shot that you see a uh, Masor Nambara take a lot of the time. Just those high, yeah, high shots off the top of the glass. And whenever Nambara, she drives the lane. Yep, Nambara missed the three and it went out of bounds. Yeah, that did look Nambara-esque, didn't it? Just the way she floated it out of her hand and got it to go. 4.50 left in the third quarter. Jumper off the mark, tipped by Beckemeyer. It goes to Norman. She gives it to Nambara. Into the front court they go. Chastain pulls up for three. Good. Or Chastain with eight points. 52 to 11. And another turnover. Nambara scoops it up off the glass and in. Nice play by Chastain to be able to keep her dribble there as yeah. she fell down after taking it away. Six points in the quarter for Nambara. Chastain is a player who does, and blades to a certain extent, Chastain does things that don't show up in the box score all the time, but she is a key part of this team. And she scored a lot of points in a couple of the pink and white games. Yeah, at the pink and white I noticed um, you know, she's not the biggest girl, but she'll go down she plays and, and, and play the post if she needs to. Yeah. Um, and she's not afraid to kind of be around those big girls. She's only, I think, 5'7 or 5'8. But she has no problem going up with those six-foot-plus girls down low and, and battling it out with them down low. Nice play with Lena Norman yeah. up and off the glass. Good pass by Beckemeyer to find her open on the block. And now the substitutions are lining up in front of the scorer's table. I can see four, the tops of four heads down there. And now Addison Walker is over there with Chris Flood getting ready to check in too. So I think we'll have a, a fresh five at the next stoppage in play. Everybody on the floor. I was about to say, everybody on the floor wants a steal and a layup at the other end before the play stops. And Beckemeyer got it. So play continues, and she is up to 24. I think it's uh, Laney Strong, Addison Walker, Gracie Woods, Alex Price. I'm trying to think of who the fifth one is down there. Oh, and Molly Mason, I believe, will be the five that are going to come in. Annalise Freeman had the bucket at the other end. Now Chastain will take a three, and it's good again. Two threes by Chastain, and Chris Flood finally calls a timeout so he can get everybody out of there. So the starters are done, and it's 61-15, and a timeout on the floor, so we'll take one as well. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And again this year, they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we take a look at the stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. ERCPA, named to Accounting Today's 2020 Best Accounting Firms to Work For. You can find them in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet or online at ERCPA.com. Any day's a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Central with the ball as we return to action. Addison Walker, Laney Strong now on the defense. And now Alex Price guarding the ball handler. Strong gets out, guards the three. The shot's too long. It's tipped around, and it goes to Dyson. Knocked away, and there goes Alex Price up the floor. All the way in and scooped it up off the glass. Alex Price has four points. 63-15. Dyson, a scoop shot at the other end. That's a nice... Move by Talia Dyson. Six points for her now. Lenny Strong was the leading scorer in the JV game with 19. And she's out there now in the lane, kicks it back out to Price. 
Passes up the shot, pulls it back out. Addison Walker, now Price. Walker down to Mason, turns and across the lane to Strong, who drives up and puts it in. Laney Strong with a layup and an assist by Molly Mason. Good cut by Strong and Mason with good awareness to find her and a chance for a three-point play for Laney Strong. 5'6 sophomore, missed the free throw, but Molly Mason with a rebound. Now Walker to Price, back up to Strong. Now to Walker on the wing. Her three is no good, missed, but rebound, tipped around and out of bounds. And that was Gracie Woods who had it, had it knocked out, stays with Republic. And Lady Strong will throw it in. Gracie Woods on the low block there. She turns and sets a pick for Mason, who comes free. And now Woods has it. Woods throws it to Strong. She's wide open, left-handed jumper. Grays the iron and a put back by Gracie Woods. Gracie Woods to the line, two for two for Republic. Lady Bulldog foul committed by... About 50 Mason. seconds left in the third quarter. Her first team. And that free throw went in. That was a flat free throw, but she got the roll anyway. First point for Woods. And one more coming for Gracie, and that one is no good, but there's Mason with another board, and she draws another foul. If we ever get into the fourth quarter, the clock will be running continuously, but until then, it's going to stop every time something like that happens. It's a foul on Nyla Siller. Mason hits the free throw. Five points now for Molly Mason. Mikaidria Harper in. And Siller checks out for the Lady Bulldogs with 48.6 seconds left. One more free throw for Mason. He is off the back of the rim, and Central gets the board. Talia, Talia Dyson, guarded by Woods. To Harper. She kicks it to Lily, whose three is no good. Gracie Woods had it, lost it, and Harper grabbed it, and a foul called on Gracie Woods with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. A 50-point lead for Republic, 67 to 17. Mason almost took it away. It was saved right back in to Strong. And she gets it to Walker to bring it up court. Addison is the only player now who hasn't scored. She hasn't been out there very long. But everybody else has a bucket. She'll take a three there, and that one's off the back of the rim. Mason had it, has to chase it down in the corner. It goes out of bounds. Time expires. And at the end of three, it's 67-17. Republic on top by 50. We'll take a break and be back with the fourth quarter after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Gold Medal Gyms is where Republic athletes build a foundation for future success. Whether it's gymnastics, cheerleading, or tumbling, young athletes learn skills that prepare them to take on virtually any sport they choose. Sign up for your free trial at their gorgeous facility at Highway 60 and Highway M. Gold Medal Gyms, raising the bar for Republic Athletics. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm Agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From glasses, prescriptions, and contact lens fittings to emergency eye care, they help your family see, feel, and look better than they ever have before. Check them out online at visionhealtheyecenter.com.
Fourth quarter begins and Republic has the ball. And Molly Mason with the shot, no good. Central grabs the board. Republic outscored Central 27 to eight in the third quarter and a miss by Central. So Republic has it back. Strong throws it to Mason. A little turnaround jumper is no good. Ball is grabbed by Strong inside. She has it tipped away, taken away by Kalise Brooks. And now Brooks across the timeline. Lilly. And now Freeman throws it down in the corner to Brooks. Back to Lola Lilly. Knocked away by Price, picks it back up, and throws it to her teammate, Samia Cannon. And now a takeaway. Addison Walker jumped in and just grabbed it out of the air. Clock will run continuously here in the fourth quarter, other than if somebody calls a timeout. And the Lady Tigers will run some offense here. Price on the wing. To Strong and now to Walker. Mason back to Walker and then to Price out near the Tiger logo. Two home games this week for Republic teams. The Tigers beat Central in a close one. Had to come from behind. They were down 10 at one point and beat Central here on Tuesday. And now the Lady Tigers in a blowout win leading by 50 over Central tonight. And we will have the Tigers tomorrow against Springfield Catholic. That game probably around 7.30. Catholic didn't have necessarily the hottest start to the season, but I mean, you, you talked to Tim Brown today, or and uh, they've won four straight. Yeah, and um, they're they're definitely a well coached team. Uh, Coach Jay Osborne, who was at Nixa for thirty plus years, I think is what it was, or exactly thirty years. Um, he's their head coach now, so there, it's it's not necessarily going to be a matchup, even though or a, a bad matchup should be a really good yeah. matchup, even though it may not look that way on paper. And, and they're really young, from what I understand as well. Yeah, that, that's not an easy place to go in and play either. The, it's kind of a smaller gym, so it, it can get pretty loud in there. And it'll be a Friday night game. That usually helps as opposed to a Tuesday game. Now to four and a half left. Central to throw it in. Cannon in the corner. Guarded by Gracie Woods. Down to four minutes exactly left in the game. And a drive and a layup up and in by McKydria Harper, number 13. Cayman Beckemeyer scored 24 for Republic. Laney Strong has it, throws it to Price. And out of Gracie Woods. Woods at the high post goes to Mason. Mason had it knocked away. Picked up by Central's Annalise Freeman. And now three at the other end is off the back of the rim. Strong with the board. Kicking down to about the three minute mark. Strong throws it to Price. Republic will improve to 12 and one. Central will fall to 0 and nine. 
And the Lady Tigers will open conference play on Monday at Carl Junction. So that's a good team. Another tough matchup for the Lady Tigers. Yeah, I believe they're ranked number four in uh, class five right now. They're led by uh, Destiny Berge, who um, she just hit 2,000 points. I think last week is when it was, or just before Christmas. It was recently, though, so definitely going to be a tall task for the Lady Tigers, but nothing that they haven't seen so far this season. Yeah, that seems like that's always a good one. Yeah. Every time those two teams play, and now Walker grabs a loose ball with two minutes left. Mason had the bucket last time down. She's up to seven points. Chastain finished with 11. Elena Norman with nine. Misora Nambara with eight. Molly Blades is done. She had three. Alex Price's jumper from the wing Three is good. She was not behind the arc, so she's got six points. Almost a steal by Gracie Woods. Tipped it away, and now a pass to Cannon, and then back to Dice or to uh, Lily. And now Kalise Brooks has it. Under a minute to go. Ball is tipped and then thrown out of bounds. So Republic will get it back for one last possession. Probably. And it's going to be a three game sweep for the Lady Tigers. Alex Price gets away from the defender, now throws it to Strong and then to Walker. Down to 20 seconds left. Fires, and just like that, Republic is 12 and 1. Final score, 71 to 19. And we'll take a break and be back with the individual scoring to wrap up the broadcast after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m or at 10.45 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. It's easier than ever to get your Rocco's Pizza fix. Place your order on their website at roccositalienkitchen.net or call them with one tap inside the Republic Tiger Sports mobile app. And don't forget dessert because Rocco's is serving homemade ice cream prepared right on site. Rocco's Italian Kitchen. Pizza. Pasta. Perfection. Welcome back to Republic Tiger Sports and the Lady Tigers win it over Central. It's Republic's home opener and they get a win 71-19 over the Lady Bulldogs. It was 40-9 at halftime and Republic wins it going away 71-19. 
Individual scoring, Talia Dyson led Central with six points. Republic was led by Cayman Beckemeyer with 24. Lauren Chastain had 11, including a couple of threes in the third quarter. Nine for Elena Norman, eight for Missouri Nambara, seven for Molly Mason. Six points for Alex Price, three for Molly Blades, and two each for Lanny Strong and Gracie Woods. Republic improves to 12 and one, heading into conference play next Monday, and the Lady Bulldogs fall to 0 and nine. And that's gonna do it from Republic. Lady Tigers get a win, 71-19. For Evan Smith, I'm David Brazil. Thanks for watching Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports.